know it's morning. Oh, it's, it's afternoon. Afternoon. I don't even know what time of day it is. So we are up at the um, near the airport at the King Street parking. Parking. So we parked our car here because we're coming back by plane. But we're waiting at the moment to get picked up and taken to the train. Should have started by saying <laughs> we're doing our train trip on the Indian Pacific to Adelaide, from Sydney to Adelaide. Today. Yeah. So we're quite excited. We've just got little on board night. bags. Yeah, one night on the train and then we've got a couple of nights in Adelaide. Yep, it's really good. But yeah, we are in is it premium or no, platinum it's called, which is like the the best I guess that you can the expensive do. <laughs> we used our frequent fly points. Yeah, and this was like a, a pandemic um, <laughs> yep. treat because we hadn't travelled <laughs> at the time. Uh, and our other trips kept on getting put back and off, cancelled, as everyone most as a lot of people have experienced. So anyway, we are excited for our trip. Yep. We've got a bit of travel coming up. Yeah, but as part of the Platinum, you do get picked up and taken to the train station and dropped off at the other end at our well, it's a motel or at our accommodation yep. in Adelaide. So anyway, we're going to try and film a lot because we couldn't find much on YouTube showing the train and the experience. So we'll try and document as much as we can for you all. So our car is here and so is the rain. It's not raining in Adelaide, so we didn't bring anything for rain. Mask. Now we just found the platinum desk, so we don't need to be in that line. Can move on up. So if you are going platinum, don't stand in the lines back there. Come forward up to the platinum desk. Top off and not see until you arrive in Adelaide. Okay? <laughs> I'll take your bags and put them in the cabin too. Everyone else is going that way. Where are you going? That way. It's over there somewhere. Why are you, everyone else is walking that way? I don't know. I don't, I don't. My bag's heavy. I'm not going to be walking around with it. It's okay. More than two kilos though. Yeah, but I've got my cameras and everything. I can't just chuck mine. Oh. Filming now because I've got in trouble for not filming. So we're heading down to the McCure. Have you already said that? I think so. Going to the McCure. It's our... The paperwork says it's our pre-boarding experience. Okay. So that's where we're going. Oh, there it is. I can see the sign. Well, I'm nearly at the McCure now. So it's a beautiful little walk. Further than I thought anyway. Glad I don't have our luggage. Um, 
We've actually stayed here before, I remember now. Bubble tea. Do they have bubble tea? Do you have to get a bubble tea? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, we finally arrived. <laughs> oh, we've got to find out we've got to go in here. Oh. Get our soft drink. Oh, it's only like dessert, we should have gone and got lunch. <laughs> well, so bring around some hot food that comes with like a little, what is it, chicken burger or something, is it? And we were asked about getting, well, we asked about getting a vegan, something vegan for myself because they had a vegetarian bowl or something, so. That was being served earlier, so we may have missed it, we'll see. <laughs> I hope so because we are hungry, as I said. And they've got like some cakes in there. I don't know if I filmed or not. Someone here, they've obviously got tea and coffee and then they've got some scones. There's a live performer down there, apparently singing songs about a train. Yeah, they are living on a long train. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> well, that was very nice. They bought me some veggie dim sims to have. Someone's probably jealous now. <laughs> I was pondering how I was going to eat them, and then I remembered I have my little travel cutlery set. That's even got titanium got... chopsticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> so I can eat them. Okay, we've had a few little things. Had a little burger. Had a little sausage roll, and now it's got a beef cheek. Which sounds so unappealing to me. Do you want the torch on? Yeah, it's fine. Really? That's just not going good now. Well, I just finished my dump things and I'm full. And they brought me some more food. <laughs> These are corn pinwheels. Well, I guess I could pick some of them in. Steamy. <laughs> I think it's just us. Take a shortcut back out. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't know we are getting the bubble tea. <laughs> of course Mr. Withnil has to get bubble tea before we go on board the train. One thing that's puzzling me is why so many people are wearing jackets today. And inside they had like three layers on and like upper jackets. It's 22 degrees out here. I know it looks miserable and it looks cold. It should be illegal. <laughs> it's just a bit of a bit weird. It's not cold. It might be a slightly bit, but it's not, it's 22 degrees. And it's like, we're just out of summer here in Australia, or a month into spring, I guess. But anyway, it's still a bit puzzling to me. Back at the Grand Concourse. We're over to board now. Looks like Mr. Whist has gotten sidetracked again. I don't even know which one we're going on. I think it was G. It not this open yet, actually, though. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you get on yet though. It doesn't look like it. Time to get on now. Welcome to the board first. I'll come through shortly and we'll top up those champagne glasses and some tea fruits. Oh, there, you see it look real there. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here's our cabin, our suitcases are all in here. Tea. I don't think yeah. there's a bubble tea in it. He said he's going to come through on top yeah, of it. Yeah, I don't champagne. think I need some champagne. We've got cashews. They said views out of both sides of the train. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Oh, we haven't really, because there's a, a board out there. So we don't really get much. 
But yeah, we can't. supposed to put that up. Up? What? What are you talking about? Up? What are you hmm? talking about? I thought that might have been electric or something. No. I think we'd look through that. But we've got a big board there. So, right, anyway. I'll get in the room. So obviously we've got our two seats and so then this kind of be the bed. This flops down to be our double bed. Which is nice. And we've got a little table, coffee table. We need to look in the oh my god. This is the secret hole. Got to get very close with the camera. And we've got a little bathroom in here, we've got our own bathroom, which is nice. And a little shower. Right. I'm squeezing in you can the go bathroom. through a little shower. I like how they've got like a hand frame or thing to hold on to if you need to. That's quite groovy. Very nice. It's isn't nice it? having your own toilet yeah. and shower. Gosh. That can be your corner, is it? Oh, oh well, maybe you've got to squish up there. I'm still playing with lights. But no, Kevin, open the, the cupboard. The There's a cupboard there beside you. I've opened that already. What's in there? A safe, a oh, shelf. Oh, some hanging space. Some hang coat, things some up. Some coat hangers. And there's one down below, obviously. And this side's got some drawers. That's the secret. What about that little one? That's just a. We've already checked everything out, have you? And some nuts. Where was your vlogging? Uh, Mr. In, with no? In there. Hmm. And we've got drawers. Yeah. We're only here, unfortunately, only for one night. You can have the window seat. I'll I'm see sure you facing. I'm going to see you facing the wall. Good. I thought you see it in the corridor. I think that's where naughty boys go. <laughs> Logging on the phone. My anyway, Kevin's got a half a glass of champagne. They gave him. Yeah. A little taster or something. He said, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really into champagne. It was quite nice actually. But I'm not really a big. The last time I probably had champagne was at our own wedding. I probably had a sip. I'm drinking more alcohol now than I ever had <laughs> yeah, in the past. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean at this second. I mean at this stage in my life. Don't look at me. Look at the in the, the... In the twilight years of my life. <laughs> Something going to roll into your casket. I might. <laughs> It's all ready to go. We're all comfy. We've got pools. <laughs> We've made ourselves quiet at home. We're ready to go. Don't even go for another half hour. No, I think the guy's going to come around. I don't want to call him steward, dependents, whatever. What's he going to do? And show us how to use everything. Kevin's probably already worked everything out by now. I don't think we need to know anything. Kevin's probably worked it all out. But some people would need help. Like my parents would need help. Is that we here? <laughs> I haven't even opened my bubble tea yet in case anyone was wondering. I think the, dis the only disappointing thing in this cabin is you really, once that door's shut, you don't really see, you'll see out from there. I'll, I'll see out from here. Well, but some windows would line up and you can see out. That's what the brochure showed. I don't know if there any do line up, you know. Well, they showed that in the, on the yeah, video. Yeah, <laughs> but there obviously is a lounge somewhere you can go and sit and see windows and stuff too. But today's not going to matter for us, we're going to Blue Mountains. And it's rainy, so I don't know if you're going to see much through the drawers. Rainy, and it's going to be we'll dark, sleep. and then we go to sleep. I don't think it'll be dark through the Blue Mountains, will it? Uh, no, probably not. No, I don't know what time the sun's it's setting at the moment. It'll be two hours out of Sydney, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put my GoPro and I bought the little suctioning thing to stick it on the window so we can film bits and pieces. It does have a bit of a musty old train smell. Does it? I don't smell. I don't smell much, much at all these days. It might be the smell of like brakes or things. It reminds me of when I was a kid mm. catching train to school, but it's quite nice. Well, it is very nice. This could be a bad thing having like such a fancy first overnight train experience. Well, I don't think there's much like danger of doing it too much because it's very expensive. But we'll, we'll do it once and we'll see what. We're hoping like. we don't fall in love with it. I always wanted to do the game. But this second, we're still doing like the three nights to Perth and we're going, we're only going to Adelaide. But no, that's all we could, all we could really justify spending, really. This must move. Yeah, well, they're going with that too. So we can put the bed down, <laughs> yes. I thought the bed might have been hinged. No, I think I'll move that somewhere. Just move. I haven't dropped my... So I'm not sure if I went over. There was some water here and some little hand sanitizers. Oh, branded. 
it's got the Pacific on it, so that's cute. And then we've got some brochures. That one's got the um, off-trend experiences. So there's a couple, a couple for us to choose from for Broken Hill. I think we're going to do this living desert one. Walk around in the hot, probably sun. <laughs> enclosed shoes. I don't have enclosed shoes. The, uh, the the living desert one. Why don't they give us this stuff before we leave home? <sighs> oh no, it's only, is it recommended or only if it's essential? I want to do that one. I'm going to be annoyed. That's what I want to do. Man. It's hard because we only look one night, so we didn't bring everything for multiple. If it was coming multiple days, I probably would have put enclosed shoes in. But all we bought was these little bags. You can check luggage as well. I think in Platinum you can check up the three big bags. I don't know that's per person, I think it's per I person. I would get three big bags and we only brought the little ones. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they didn't so, make us check the three big bags. Yeah, so they just re recommended bringing out an onboard bag size in, which is obviously what we did, so they're full. <laughs> so I didn't bring another pair of shoes. Well, I bought my shoes to wear to dinner, but... Another, anyway, this has got all the different excursions. You get a card telling us our times for dinner and well obviously only dinner and breakfast is relevant for us. Well I haven't even seen that yet. There you go you can look at that and then this is all about um, like the history of the train and the building of the train the Indian Pacific. So there's um I wonder how many carriages there were. and showing a trip I was just going to say that we just had our what was he? No, the guy who came around did he ever I don't know, there's so many people a room people yeah, it's a lot of staff. It's come around to six, but we, we all kind of worked out. Kevin and I worked out everything much in the room, except for the radio stuff. I don't think it worked out. And we're booked on our excursion six o'clock tomorrow morning. That's crazy. Didn't know that. Like we have not walked. We, now we know why people have got heavy jackets. Thirteen degrees at that time of morning, apparently, it's and windy. <laughs> we're ready for summer. It's gonna be cold. We booked to do that. We requested our first choice is the outdoor one. So I don't, I don't quite understand why they don't give you all this information before you get on the train. We can't be the only silly billies who aren't prepared, surely. And it does say on there, expect to have closed shoes, which I do not have. But I don't think silly we're just going to see what happens. Is a grown-up thing to say. Thanks for interrupting for that, Kevin. He's picking on the things I say. The stupid, immature things that you say. I do not. I'm lovely. The words you make up for things. I don't think you can say anything about word choice. <laughs> I'm ready to relax now. I'm ready yeah. for the, the train movie. Yeah, so we should be going soon. I don't know what I'm saying then. You interrupted me. I know. You said silly billy. What were you silly billy about? Not packing warm clothes. Oh, no, that's right. But I'm right here for one night and not packing in closed shoes. And we did not know that we were going to be out. Anyway, that's fine. It's only for an hour or so. We have a, a light breakfast out where we're going, and then another breakfast when we come back. Luckily, we picked our late lunch at one o'clock, or their late lunch at one o'clock. I mean, I had a choice of two times for lunch as well. I think that was all, wasn't it? Yeah, else? so we've got a late lunch because you always have late lunch. That's early for me. <laughs> and I always have lunch at 12. So if you've had two breakfasts, yeah, no, we get two breakfasts from them. This is weird. They feed us on the tour. Did you already say this? Yes, I, I did. I wasn't listening to you. Yes. So we get second breakfast. I feel like a hobbit. Mm. But I don't think it'll be 11, though. Yeah. Not going to be 11 Z's. But they still have second breakfast. And there is a, apparently at the end of each carriage is a, I don't know how to name for it, but it's an area where you can get tea and coffee at any time. I think once we take off, I'm like, two I'm carriages get tea. up. 
Yeah. If you have a, a bar and a restaurant for platinum class. Platinum class, it's all in the one. Like gold class is the bar and the restaurant is separate. So we'll go up for a wander once we get moving and yeah. have a look. They said there was 26 or 27 people in platinum. And I think there's about 70 something in gold class. I think there's another class as well. I don't know, maybe not. So we just went to the bathroom and I come out and we're moving. You knew that was going to happen. Yep. <laughs> I said to Kevin, if, it's, if we go, press go. Here we are filming on the, the um, GoPro as well. But we're doing a shuffle. Hopefully. That's the other half of our train over there. We're going to have to go and pick up the other half. Not there. We don't have a good window here, unfortunately. Because the station's not long enough to fit the whole train on. <laughs> what a beautiful, this is the old part of the station, Kevin. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a youth hostel. It's going to be made into a youth hostel. Or is it a hostel? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's old okay. Just playing cards. Yeah. Because you're weird.
Kevin was nice enough to get my first cup of tea a while ago and then go up to the dining room to get me some soy milk but I'm ready for my second cup since it's only a little one. One carriage behind us, and that was where the bit that moved forward. Oh, yeah, to the other okay, hand. so it's a big one. lunch at the Mercure. Um, did you always had it was nice. Enough? I had a sausage roll. You're all blurry because you said throw away. And a meaty thing. What else did I have? Anyway, it was it was nice but it was a long time ago now. Yeah. And so that was about two o'clock. No before two we're on the train by two so let's say let's say two o'clock anyway. And then our dinner isn't just seven. That's five hours. That's a long time to go without any food, I think. So we did eat our nuts earlier and lucky enough I had some dried mango so we've eaten that as well. <laughs> but there is nothing, not, unless there's something up in the, what's it called? The, yeah, the market stuff there, I don't know. The, I can't think what it's called, the lounge area. Maybe there's something up there, I don't know. I would have thought they would have had like some biscuits or something down where the tea is. Because you know, most people like to have a cup of tea and a biscuit. Or, you know, or some cheese and crackers or something they could have had there. Maybe is it, maybe it's up there and we're just missing out. I don't know. But but I'm happy. We just had some mango. Yeah, that's fine. And but we're just sitting around. Just worth keeping in mind. If you find that five hours is a long time to go without food, you might want to just pack a few snacks. I would have bought more. I usually do bring. Being vegan, often you don't I, know what you're going to get. I don't think it'll be a problem now because we have dinner soon. Yeah. Then we get two breakfasts. Two breakfasts tomorrow and our lunch and then we're yeah. off the train so. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. But I, mean, I usually do pack more snacks. It's a place you being vegan and you just don't know what you're going to come across but because we were so 
we didn't we have the room to bring more stuff so I just threw them in and I threw some vegan lollies in and that was all I, that's all I have with me which is I could probably afford to miss a few <laughs> yeah we both could but just you know the nuts really aren't sufficient I don't think <laughs> well, there's more nuts in there yeah there was some more I'm keeping them for tomorrow <laughs> maybe they'll restock them well, who knows? Anyway, that's fine. I've been drinking my water, I've had my cups of tea, so that's good. What are you so, going for a walk with me up to the thing? Yeah, we can go for a walk if you want. Let's go and do an investigate. It's only now to do that now. Is it? Yeah. Well, some of might be having dinner. What time is it already? Six. Is it really? It is five minutes to six o'clock. Yes. Wow. Maybe some people are already having dinner. So maybe. Maybe. Anyway, we'll um, we can go up if you want. No, it's okay. We aren't the most social people. We can probably, we might have regathered that. Close the door and close the blinds. <laughs> if we we're going to, as I said, if we we're going to get stay on the train for three days, we might be more interested in making friends, but maybe not. We're not, we're not particularly social people. We'll have a chat with people, but yeah. It's professional detachment. We're not, not the most sociable. My regular viewers will know that. <laughs> All right, well, probably um, unless the view improves. We can't film out there because it's too foggy. But I think we'll be starting to go down soon and maybe these windows will clear up, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. But Kevin found the first part of the train trip a little bit, I think, traumatic almost. Because it sent him back to his <laughs> younger no, years just, when he caught the train into the city all the time. Dead. Just like sitting on a train in traffic yeah. and stuff. It was just the same horrible graffiti sights you look out the window. Yeah. But it's nice now, it's nice trees. And, and as teenagers we often caught the train into the city, so that's sort of been a long time though since we did that. <laughs> it's just like some weird industrial dystopia <laughs> you just get to see from the train. Yeah. But it's nice here, except there's all yeah. foggy. Can't really show you. What can I show you? So there's some trees. We're gonna lose yeah, you light. Can't really see much out there. <laughs> No. It's a shame because we're at the top now and you could... Okay, no, I can't get any further through. Very little... No. Sorry, guys. You just have to take our words for it. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of from my camera. It's a lot smoother going down. You can, you can see that we've sped up and... And the train is running a lot smoother. All the trees have got burnt in the bushfires. It was like a year ago, it's last year. Beginning of last year, the bushfires, or the year before? The year before. That's two years ago. Wow. Yeah. Can they have bad fires some places last year as well? I don't know, but they're really bad ones. We just because it started the pandemic before the pandemic. That's how I remembered. Otherwise, the trees would have missed out. Oh, it's still way growing. Is that the tree pandemic, was it? Well, you can probably tell we've come to a stop. Can you see any people on horses out there? Oh, you think <laughs> they're robbing the train? Well, funny. <laughs> well, they're going to say your money and your life. And you're going to say, can't we do both? Yeah, I don't know why we stopped. I'm not running up to the, the engine or the man driving the, what's he called? The conductor? The, the, no, the, the, he's the driver, isn't he? The driver. I'm not going to run up and ask the train driver. I still haven't seen the, the front of the train yet. The the dude with the flags. <laughs> I'm not up on my train lingo, sorry. Even though we watched quite a few train videos. Are we blurry videos. or is it just me? Am I blurry? Oh, I don't know. You're probably, I can't I've tell got, my eyes are tired. Oh, no, there you go. I'm fine with glasses. I don't know why I'm blurry. <laughs> No, I'm fine with glasses on. I struggle. I can't often tell if, if it's blurry or not because my eyes struggle. They come under robbers. It's my old past. We're hide all, we're all hide your up. phone. We're what, all, what have we got of value? We're all closed up for the night. Do we have anything of value? Um, no, no blurry. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what? I don't think I have anything of value. I didn't even bring my wallet. I've got nothing. I don't know what we're doing anyway by the front of the train but it's gone again probably a few more carriages in front of what we can see there but i did see it we do have a front of the train 
which is very good news. Where in the view? <laughs> I realise this went down the same train line as a zigzag railway, which I guess makes sense it would. We just went past the zigzag station. I haven't done that since I was in high school. No, we? we did it did we? when Athena, then Amy, was a baby. Oh. Well, that's still a long time. She ago. was three, no, about six months old. We were kind of December, so she was like nine months old maybe. a long time ago. Because she's old now. Yeah. We kind of come in December. No, she must have been. No, Christy must have been the baby. Yeah, okay. It was Christy was a baby. Christy was three months old. So that was like December 2001. We did the zigzag railway. That's why we're going so slow, Kev. We're going down the zigzag railway. But I don't know if you guys are going to see much of it. It's getting darker by the second and. Lights are giving you a lot of reflection, but that's, that's what's happening. It is weird not being able to see out like forwards. We're coming to the bit of pudding, the little viaduct thing over there. We're going down now. You can see the front of the train. I can see a train over there in yeah. the distance. Press the green button. Yep. Oh, look. Biscuits. I didn't see them at our end. Yeah, I might have steal some. I thought they would have biscuits. So is this the first one? Is it in the next one or is it the one after that? Probably, even probably went to socialize before dinner. film at dinner but we're sitting with some other people so I just took photos of our food or video of our food. Nice food. So yeah so you enjoyed your very dinner? Nice, very nice. Mine but was these cookies we stole <laughs> these on the way down so yeah, we're not part the of the dinner service that turned down. So yeah so this is our bed turned down ready to sleep. We got given some robes which is nice. Oh, a of logo. oh my gosh you feel fancy. And then I don't I guess there's a chocolate in here. So we had Hague's chocolates but these aren't Hague's can't see anything outside. There's a little chocolate. Oh, it's a blue chocolate. Oh, that's fancy looking. Is it wrapped or that's blue? That's blue. I'm going to put the torch on, ready? Oh. They're pretty. Oh, lighting effects. Very pretty. All right. Mm. 
wonder what the extra good pillows are for. <laughs> Look at your back support pillows. We could have probably used them today. So we did find that the couch got a bit uncomfortable. So yeah. we're hoping that the beds are right. We're yes. not sure we want to do longer than a night at oh, this well, stage. Oh, you've got to turn the radio off so we don't get... We well, haven't done anything in any way. I know, no, but it might tonight. Yep, yeah, I'll turn it off. Anyway, that's our first day. We are retiring for the evening. And I'm surprised at dinner guests. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Well, Kevin's already eating his chocolate. Eat your chocolate. How was it? Yeah. Not as nice as Hague's. Oh, it's not Hague. Not as nice as Hague's. Hmm. It's full of a. Like a liqueur. A liquid, or something? Yeah, it's not a liquor. I don't think it's a liqueur, but. It tastes a bit like that. It's a bit fancy for me. Oh. <laughs> and we're also doing a strange thing. We're sleeping on the different sides of the oh, bed. No, that's weird. <laughs> that's usually my side of the bed. So we're, I'm going to sleep on this side so I've got the window in the morning. Anyway. <laughs> See oh, how it goes. 